This is my crown. Whatever you got on your head is your crown. So rock it with pride. Don't let anybody tell you that it's not professional or you're not gonna be able to succeed in life with this kind of hairstyle. Don't listen to any of that. Do what's true to you. When your scalp be itchy. See this right here? This is my crown. Whatever you got on your head is your crown. Okay, okay, okay. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Akwaf. Shalom to the hope for the lack. And this your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakahak Wadash and Yahara Zada's lesson will be edifying to someone. You know, so I mean, did you hear what he said? Let's let's take it back again. See this right here? This is my crown. Okay, he said that this was his crown. Now, where is that in the scriptures? I thought, matter of fact, let's 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 go ahead and open up with some scriptures, right? Because you simple individuals out here with this long ass, funky ass hair, right? Matter of fact, let me see here. Where's that scripture at, man? Right? Let me see here. Uh, let's grab this first. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-nine, verse one. He that being often reproved hardened his neck. You see that? And we're reproving you individuals out here, man, with this damn hair. Right? I get so sick and tired of seeing people with this hair, but hey man, it is what it is at the end of the day. Two third that's why scriptures say two third of our people gotta be cut off and die, man. You see that? He he that being often reproved hardened his neck. So a lot of you niggas are just hard headed, man. You got a stiff neck. You don't want to listen to the prophets, right? Shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. You see that? So you individuals out here that are being reproved and your heart and your neck, you're like, ah, I got to listen to you. You're going to be destroyed, man. You see that? Because nowhere in the scriptures does it talk about a man having his hair as a crown, man. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that real quick, man. Let's grab that, right? Listen to this real good, man. You individuals out there that got dreads, right? And you just, you know, just completely bug the hell out, man. You see that? Let me see here. Let me grab. I'm, I'm going to grab this scripture here, man. All right? My phone is acting funny, but it is what it is. Let me see here. Let's go ahead and grab it. Let me see. I think it's 1 Corinthians. Yeah, there it is right here. <clears throat> let's, let's grab this here, man. Right? Listen to this real good, man. Now, that guy said, matter of fact, let's, let's take it back one more time. Right? Just so Jake think I ain't making it up. Whatever you got on your head is your crown. Okay. So rock it with pride. Don't let anybody. Mm -mm okay. Okay. No, no, no. Not at all. Listen to this. First Corinthians. Damn it. It keep messing up, but it's all good. Let me see. First Corinthians. And I'm going to read it, man. He said, he said that that's his crown. Right? Didn't he say that? First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Do if not nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. You see that? And don't that guy got long hair? The answer is yes. Let's keep going here, right? Because you said that was his crown. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 15. But if a woman have long hair, you hear that? Woman. If a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. Listen to this. For her hair is given for her for a covering. You see that? So this is a woman's thing, man. This is her crown. You see that? Now, I'm just curious here. So that was pretty much the point, man. It is a woman's glory to have long hair. It is her crown, man. You see that? This guy right here said, let's do it again. So rock it with pride. Don't let anybody see this right here. This is my crown. That's not your crown, you fool. A lot of you people are foolish. You see that? That's why scripture said our, our people are foolish, sawdust children. You see that? Very stupid, man. You see that? This dude said his hair was his crown, right? Now, all I did was type in, right? Watch this here, man, because you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, there's a lot of you guys that got this stupid-ass hair in your head, man, 
right? With his long, funky hair. Look at this Jake. Look, he got the, uh, he got the damn, uh, 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 what do you call them? Damn contacts, right? With the hair and, and the, look, fresh edge up. You see that? Now, what the scriptures say about that, man? You see that? But a lot of you individuals, you, you don't want to listen to the prophets, man. Look at this. See? You, you individuals don't want to listen to the prophets. Not at all. This is a heathen custom. And a lot of you people are going to die. You see that? Wait till, oh, man. Last, last, and if you notice, a lot of individuals that are getting put to death and that are being judged are a lot of you niggas out here with these damn dreads, man. Right? This dude got a shaved face with the dreads. You see that? So all you see is, it. look, there's more contact lenses. See, a lot of you guys just want to be women. You guys want to uh, want to seek the, the damn attention of these women, man. And a lot of you guys are beta males. Your simps and the spirit of the Lord isn't dealing with you, man. Right? Don't listen to what no one say about your hair, right? All you see is Jake. Jake everywhere. Jake, just Jake, Jake, Jake. This guy here in the damn shower, right? You know, I mean, come on, man. What is this, man? Look at this dude. Look at this dude here. Now, you know he's bugged the hell out. Look at him. Finished. You see that? So a lot of you guys with this stupid ass hair in your head. And, and, and again, all you see is Jake, man. You guys don't know the backdrop or the history of these damn dreadlocks, man. Right? A lot of you guys smoke weed and, and worship false gods. Right? And look at this dude. This dude went from bald head to having fake dreads. You see that? Eve, Eve is always in the midst. You see this? You know, so you pretty much get the point, man. All right, let's go ahead and grab some more scriptures, man, because this, this stuff here makes me sick, man. You guys out there with this dreads, man. Oh, boy. Anyway, let's grab this here, man. All right, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 44, and I'm going to read verse 20. They shall neither shave their heads nor let their hair grow long. You see that? So you're not supposed to let your hair grow long, man. But they shall keep their hair well trimmed. You see that? So you're supposed to keep your hair trimmed, you men out there. Right? You know, and, and when you go into the story of this, this is talking about the uh, the priests or the Levites and Shalaki if I'm wrong. But hey, man, a lot of you guys out there, you know, again, a lot of you guys are just effeminate. You see that? Let's grab that word there, man. Feminine. Let me see. Uh, what is the word? Fem, fem, and then, and schlock if I'm spelling it wrong, right? A lot of you guys are just feminine. Feminine, feminine. having qualities or an appearance traditionally associated with women. You see that? So a lot of you guys with the stupid ass hair. A lot of you guys are just feminine. Look. See that? Look at this person here, man. You know, so I mean, it, you know, you individuals are finished. You see that? That's why the Lord's gonna do a lot of uh, uh, a lot of destroying out here, man. Right? Cause this is a heathen custom. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick, man. This is a heathen custom. People with Samson had. Shut up! You don't know what's going on. You see that? Let's grab this here, man. Let's go to uh, uh the origin the the origins of dreadlocks, right? Now I found two articles here. It says, origins of dreadlocks. Ancient Egypt is the true birthplace of dreadlocks. Now, I don't know if, if, if that's true or not. but And, and also, I want to say uh, it goes into Shiva Jata. So, a lot of you individuals, you so-called blacks, you, you damn Israelites like to call yourselves Egyptians. And believe you me, before I came into the truth, I thought the same thing. You see that? Until the, until the Lord woke me up out of this trash, man. Anyway, origins of dreadlocks. E ancient Egyptians are the true birthplace of dreadlocks. Some ancient Egypt mummies were found to have dreadlock wigs from from uh from a uh, four uh, fourteen thousand or fourteen hundred BC BCE. The mummies are a solid evidence that dreadlocks originated in ancient Egypt based on the timeline of other historical events. You see that? So a lot of you individuals out there, you want to be damn Egyptians and and, and all of that, man. Amen. The Lord do put a, a difference. Let's go ahead and grab that real quick, man. The Lord do put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites. You see that? Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel, right, shall not a dog move its tongue. 
against the man or beast. Listen to this. That ye may know how that the Lord Yahweh Shai do put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. You see that? So when you see these individuals out here with these long ass dreads, a lot of them smoke weed. They got demons on them. Look at this Eve here. You can tell demons on her. Finish. She got a damn uh, tattoo on her forehead. You see that? A lot of you individuals are stupid. You don't know what's going on. You don't know the scriptures. And the spirit of the Lord is not dealing with you. You see that? Look at this dude here. You know, a lot of you people are just finished. You see, that's why the Lord is, I'm telling you, the Lord great to destroy a lot of you individuals out here with this, this stupid, funky hair. You see that? It's not attractive. You men out there with this damn hair. Look at this lady here. She bald in the back. See that? Getting dreadlocks, man. You see? Jake is bugged. Look, look at Jake. Bugged the hell out. You see that? You individuals are through. You see that? That's why scripture say, look at this lady here with the damn, uh, look, look at this. Look. See? Need I say more, man? See that? So, I mean, you pretty much get the point. Right? And also, I want to go into uh, Shiva Jatas, man. Right? Because you individuals are, are, are through. Let's go ahead and grab this first here, man. Right? Let me see. Uh, let me see. I know I got some more scriptures here in Shalakia. Right? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man, right? A lot of you people up with these long ass dreads are very sinful, man. You, you do not rehearse the righteous acts or anything. You see that? Anyway, Sirach, chapter 32, verse 17. A sinful man would not be reproved. You see that? So you individuals ain't gonna be ain't gonna be reproved, man, because you got a hard head. You see that? And there's a saying out there, a hard head makes a soft ass, man. You see that? Anyway, a sinful man would not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. You see that? So you individuals out there come up with these bugged out excuses, right? They don't mean squat. You see that? Find an excuse why you want to grow your hair and all that. You want to be a damn woman. You see that? That Jake there in, in, in the very beginning say that that was his crown. Where is that in the scriptures, man? You see that? I thought, I, I, I thought that a woman was supposed to have long hair, man. Not men. And I read to you that, uh, 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 that a man should only pull his hair, man. And that word pull means cut. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that real quick too, man. Because you individuals, you individuals are not studied. You guys are very stupid, man. Right? Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 20. Neither shall they shave their heads, nor suffer their locks. You hear that? To grow long. They shall only pull their heads. You see that? So you're not supposed to let your hair grow long, man. And this is all in the scriptures. Let's go ahead and grab this here real quick, man. Let me see. Uh... Scrap the word pole. Right? Strong's H 3697. Kasam. 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 And it means, look, it means to cut, clip, trim, shear. What the hell does that mean, man? So when you see these people out here with this long hair, right? They don't know what's going on, man. Right? And a lot of them like talking, I took the netherite vowel up. Shut up. You don't know what's going on. Not at all. Anyway, it says sheer clip. Let me see. So you pretty much get it, man. Right? You're supposed to cut your hair, you men. It's not for you to get it's not for you guys to have this long hair, man. Right? So a sinful man is not gonna be reproved. So a lot of you guys are feminine. Let's go ahead, let's, let's go ahead and grab some of these words here, man. Womanly, ladylike, girlish, female, soft, delicate, gentle, tender. Graceful, modest, girly, feminine. You see that? So a lot of you guys, right, are just that, man. Very feminine, right? A lot of you guys are just beta males doing what the hell you want to do, right? This is this is bugged the hell out. You see that? You guys are girly men. <laughs> girly men. See? This dude here got dressed in my sunset locks. Oh, yeah. Oh, the sun going to set on your ass, man. When you guys eating these ICBM missiles for having this long hair. You see that? Look, he looks very feminine, right? Very feminine. Look, I'm, I, come on, man. Look at this. 
Very, very feminal. Right? This is a feminal thing here, man. Very feminal. Right? Very fem very effeminate, man. Very effeminate. Look at this. Very effeminate. You know, you guys are, 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 are finished. You men are not men today. You guys are garbage. You see that? That's why the Lord called you guys a, 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 a rubbish. Look at this, Jake. You see? So you pretty much get the point, right? Girls do stuff like this, man. This is a girly thing. Let's go ahead and grab some more scriptures here, man. Right? Because, you know. Anyway. Let's grab this too, man. Right? Now, look at this. I typed in Shiva Jatsas. And look at this dude here. He got the long ass dress in a wheelchair. See that? Judgment. You see that? I wonder, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. Look. Shiva Jatas. And I want to say they originated in India. You see that? So this is a, a heathen custom. But you individuals don't get it, man. Right? Let's go ahead and grab that scripture too, man. You individuals don't get it. Oh, man. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. This is what the Lord said, man. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shema Messiah, learn not the way of the heathen. You see that? So a lot of you individuals are learning the way of the heathen. A lot of you dreadlock wearing ass people out there still eat shrimp, pork, crabs, and lobsters, right? A lot of you people out there uh, 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 celebrate the damn holidays and then holler about, uh, 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 holler about some damn Bob Marley. You don't know who he was, dude. You better do your damn research, man. Right? Anyway, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. You see that? So that guy there in that clip, in the let me see if I can find that again, man. Right? He said that his damn hair was his crown. Right? That is a, this is a heathen custom, man. This is a very he a, a heathenistic custom. You see? And again, it's always you Jake, man. You Jakes have surpassed the wicked, man. I'm gonna grab that too, man. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this lesson. Right? You people, you people get on my damn nerves, man. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 20. Declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying, talk about you Israelites, man, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, the two olive trees, man, right? The people that are going to be delivered. You see that? Hear now this, O oh foolish people. You see that? So you people out there are foolish. You see that? You people, you're not going to listen to us. You're going to do what the hell you want to do. You're going to find some excuse to have this long, stupid hair. And without understanding, that's right, our people, they don't have understanding, man. Which have eyes and see not. You see that? You individuals out there are completely blind. You have eyes, but your eyes are not open, man. Which have ears and hear not. You see that? So you people, you can't even hear us. You see that? We're telling you what the hell is going on to cut this damn hair. But again, you're not going to, you're going to do whatever it is that you want to do. I'm going to keep reading here. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. You see that? So do you not fear the Lord? And the answer is hell no. These people are like, they don't fear the Lord, man. Because they did fear the Lord. They were hearkening unto the what? Unto the prophets. At my presence, like it, will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand of the sea for the bounds of like it, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea, a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it, and though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. So you should fear a power, right, that has done this, man. Right? But our people, they don't fear the Lord, man. I'm going to keep going here. But this people, right, talking about you Israelites, but this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. That's why our people are revolting and rebellious. Let's go ahead and grab the word rebellious, man. Let's see what it says in, in, in the common dictionary. Right? You people are very rebellious, man. Rebellious. Rebellious. Showing a desire to resist authority, control, or convention. You see that? So our people, they're very... Uh, they, they resist the authority, man. The authority of the Lord. You see that? Let's keep going here. Let's go back. Right? So our people, they're very rebellious. <coughs> they are revolted and gone. You people are gone, man. Let's go ahead and grab that word real quick. I'm just curious. Right. 
Scrap the word uh, 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 gone. Let's see what gone means. Right? Let me see here, man. I'm just curious. Gone. It probably ain't going to pop up. But you individuals know what gone means. Let me see. Uh, scrap this here. Uh, lost looks and gone. Let me see here. Let me see here. The empty or gone feeling in the abandonment so common in... Let me see here. No. Let me see. Far gone in hysteria. You people are gone. Let me see here. Anyway, you pretty much get it. You know what the hell gone means. You see that? I ain't got to go into this. But anyway, let's keep going here. So you people are finished. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 24. Neither say... They in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our power. You see it? So you people, you don't fear the Lord. You individuals out there, right, with this damn hair, you do not fear the Lord. You don't fear the Lord, man. When your scalp be itchy after a retwist. That's some bullshit. Yeah, when so your you, scalp you people are finished. Look at this dude. You people, you don't fear the Lord, man. There's a difference between new growth and oh shut up I gotta show you what i was doing baby anyway you pretty much get it right look at this look at this damn uh this damn heathen here look at her she's gone you see that finished and she's the edomite she's gone into captivity now i don't know if she is or not but you know the point is it's a heathen custom you niggas out there man nigga men and nigga woman let's keep going here man Right? Jeremiah chapter uh chapter 5 verse 24 neither say in their heart let us now fear the Lord Yahweh Shai, a power that giveth rain both the former and the latter in his season he reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest you see that you should fear the Lord man your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withholding good things from you. You see that? So your, your iniquities, right? You individuals out there that are committing sin, right? Like, like growing this damn hair. Man, the Lord could... Mm -mm. Let's keep going here, man. For among my people have found wicked men. You see that? They lay wait as he saith uh, a set of snares. They set up a trap to catch men. You see that? Let's keep going here. As a cage is full of birds, so are their house full of deceit. You see that? So you individuals out there are very wicked, man. Therefore, they become great and waxing rich. You see that? Let's keep it. Because here's the point here. They are waxing fat. They shine. Yay. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. You see that? So you individuals out here, you, you've gone way too far, man. You see that? You guys always go to the fullest, right? When you're going to the Mo community, Right, it's always Jake that they put out there on the front lines, man. Jake take, Jake take it and, and go far beyond, man. Right? Let's keep going here. They judge not the cause, they cause the fatherless, yet they prosper, and, and the right of the needy do not it's like a do they not judge. You see that? So you people, the point is you people have overpassed the wicked, man. You people have, have become very wicked. And this right here. Shalaki. And this right here, this is a very wicked thing. Right? These damn dreads. Oh, nice to unwind after a long time anyway, telling people how Liberty Mutual customized your Scrap this shit, man. You only pay for what you need. Scro See that? You people have overpassed the deeds of the wicked. This is a, a wicked thing that you're doing and a very heathenistic thing. You see that? And again, don't try to say, well, Samson had locks. No, he didn't. You see that? And not at all. Samson had braids. He had seven braids. So this right here, look, look at this Jake. Look at this Jake. He's just getting out the shower and all that. Women do stuff like this, man. Right? You see he had the cross, right? And his damn hair, I mean, and his damn earring. Look at that. You guys have become very effeminate. This is very effeminate, man. Look at this. This is a feminine thing. You can't tell me that this dude here is a man. Not at all. You see that? So this is, this is finished. You individuals out there are through. You see that? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel. Shalom. And I hope this lesson was edifying to someone. Right? 
Ko halayim la, ahalayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai.